Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today, um, I want to show you guys a couple things. So first thing I did is I sold off a couple of my lower grade engines, managed to get a little bit of sea bills, and what we did is we went ahead and purchased the uh, Argo Lounge upgrade, which is great because it gives us plus two morale. But not only that, it gives us one plus plus one tech points. So rather than spending money on the on the uh, tech side of things, I just went ahead with this. It, it kind of gives us more of an all-around bonus, which is great. So we're going to go to the command center real quick because after arriving on this planet, we checked out the store, but I didn't check out the contracts. And I found that the one skull missions that I was hoping to do here, we got three assassinate missions, which is excellent. So we got a chance to get, you know, there could be heavy mechs in here. It could just be mediums. I don't know. Find out what it is, but there's a good chance we can get some good parts here. So that's what I'm hoping for over the next few episodes, pulling off these missions. There is intelligence agent up here, which is a recovery mission. We might be able to do beefs up the security. I don't want to do a defend base, but um, no, there, there is that there. And then there's a couple of other things here if we need to grab some, some quick salvage or whatever, 417. But I'm really hoping that these three missions pay off and we find something great. I'm going to do this one here for Steiner first, I think. Um, because I think if we're going against... Um, uh, if we're working for Steiner, I might have a better chance of... Um, getting something better. I don't know if, if that's true or not, but that's what we're going to go for. But before we start today, we're going to check our barracks out, because I think our pilots have some skills that we can raise up. So, yeah, I was uh, actually true here. So, yeah, you know, once again, I've been recording uh, my other series, and for some reason, I don't know why this happens, but the these go missing. Um, but anyway, uh, that being said, let's get our gunnery up on our main guy here. Now that we've got our uh, dead fire ammo loaded in, we're going to... Uh, get that gunnery as high as we can to blast people. And Hickory, um, she's our long range boat. So I'm thinking we're gonna go this route for now. Um, I like the fact that it gives plus two resolve gain, but it also gives minus 50% critical hits taken. Um, Tactician is usually one of the standards that I've been using on all my guys. It's been helping out really close range. But I think also too, I wanna get the minimum range in so that she can use those, uh, those Thunderbolts um, at closer ranges if she has to. Um, yeah, so we're going to go that route with her. Confirm. Mech warrior training complete. And Pylon, still hoping for more gunnery, so we're just going to wait on him. Uh, we're going to bring uh, Raiders piloting up slightly to get some unsteady threshold. Training confirmed, Commander. And recoil. Uh, we're finally going to be able to get up in here and use some of this stuff. So, um, Juggernaut, no, he's not going to be a melee guy. Um, I'm wondering if we should go this route because he is our hit and run guy so we're going to go with this with ace pilot um so you can use his movement before or after shooting we're going to confirm that Training. so we can run in fire and fire and then run out again so that's where he's going to go so let's go do our contract then let's hit up the steiner contract and it was insurrection interception now the salvage really isn't that great on this one but that's why I'm hoping that, you know, it ends up being something good. Now, we're sitting okay for money, so we're going to crank this right up to the top for salvage and accept it. And we're going to deploy with our standard lance and get this done. All right, here we go. All right, not this map again. All right. So we got one lance, and that looks like... I don't know what that looks like. Looks like a fire starter. No, looks like a uh, uh, probably a Katyushka if I had to guess. Whoa. Could be a trebuchet, but usually the boss mechs so. are like Katyushkas or stuff. So I want to push them. I'm not going to let them uh, rain missiles down on me. So we yep. are going to push them Bugging as out. best we can. I cannot wait to get this Centurion into battle. Receiving you. So let's move the Centurion first because he's in the way here. Um, so Pylon is definitely going to be our lead mech now. Ready for orders. He is going to be the guy that's Confirmed. taking all the fire up close. And then I'm going to bring the uh, Centurion in like a hammer to smash people. I think we're reaching that um, balance of our lances now. I'm going to reserve back. I think they're probably all reserving too. But that's fine. Yeah. Don't want any surprises. Get in the trees. Lighter mechs. Okay, so we got some chevrons. Um, yeah. Don't need to move very close with her. 
So let's just move. Uh, yeah, we're going to move and, and fortify over here. Our brace. Pylon, I went Commander. up close. Let's get him up as far as we can get him. Okay, we got three vehicles. Okay. We had better get some good salvage out of this. Let's hope... You know, I hate to say this out loud, but I hope that there's those vehicles are like... Some of them are clan vehicles. So they got clan weaponry. Alright. That guy moved first, so he is a light mech. Either that or he's a mech with a command module. Hope this doesn't end up to be a bogus run. Okay, Drillson. Good luck with that. That's why we offer up the Phoenix Hawk as uh, tribute. What's he got here? Lots of missiles. Machine Gun Plus, cool. You can certainly use that for something. Comes another vehicle. Okay, so it looks like four medium vehicles and a light mech. That's a lot of missiles. Good luck hitting, buddy. Okay, pile on your first. Let's go in and give them what for. Let's find out what we got here. Copy that. So there is a light mech. Well, mech that moves in the light phase. Oh, AC-10 double plus. What kind of armor are we talking about here? Not bad. Light LRM carrier with three LRM-10s, okay. And the drill sim we already know about, but this guy's got to go first. So let's fire everything. Confirmed. Oh my god, come on, hit with something, dude. Order. Okay, recoil, hit and run time. What can we hit? On my way. Double time. We're going to shoot this guy first. Fire everything. Wow. Oh, not a bad chance to hit with the missiles on that guy. Really bad on that guy. And really bad on that guy. So let's just move... Actually, can we move into the trees and fire? We can. A little harder to hit, but... I would rather absorb some damage through the trees. Ah, light rifle hit. There goes big numbers going up. I love the dead fire ammo. Yep. Alright, let's just walk it over. No point in getting close. See if we can finish this tiger up. That should do it. No. No! How did that oh, there we go. <laughs> Comes their mech. Bet you it's a fire starter or something ridiculous like that. Alright, recoil, what can you fire out here? Let's shoot at this guy. Eh. I mean, we could do damage on this guy. Actually, you know what? You got lots of uh, evasion, so let's just reserve and see what they do here. Got it. Stay put for now. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Um. I wonder who that vehicle's gonna fire at. Commander. I mean, we could go for the squash here. If we get him, if we hit him, we should kill him. Let's try stepping on him. Position confirmed. Engaging. Come on. Oh, not enough. Oh, there we go. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, got him. Nice. Okay, a goblin. I'm not sure where he's going. But uh, let's just walk up here. Give this guy a hammer. I can do. Yep, let's hammer control. this guy. Right from the front. Oh, come on! You had such good chances to hit! Really? She doesn't even need to move, just fire from there. Acknowledged. 
Wow. Nice. Got past the armor. Okay, here comes their mech. Yeah, Firestarter PM. So that's the uh, one that can heat you up pretty damn fast. So he's got weakened armor. Alright, recoil. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Fire everything. Make sure you hit everywhere that hasn't been hit yet. That's important. Move order received. Hit and run, baby. Hit and run. Yeah. Yeah, no change in the chance to hit, so we'll just move in a little bit. Fire on this guy. Just need one good one. Is that enough? That's not enough. Wow. That's just painful. It's like we stripped all this guy's armor off and couldn't kill him. Alright, minimal damage. Like, look at... Uh, let's go with Pylon first. What's up, buddy? Affirmative. Thanks for coming out. Scored a critical hit. Let's see what that vehicle does. Ooh, nice hit. Is minor, Commander. 45 is not minor. Stop saying that. Okay, we're just going to move up here. Going to multi-target. Going to fire on him and him. And I'm going to put B, B. Actually, let's put that on A. Let's put this on B. Fire. Engaging. Are you serious? Oh, he ain't going anywhere. Oh, maybe he is. Wow. Uh, we need eyes on fast. Let's uh, reserve. That guy's fast. That's what happened to us with the Jenner, too. Very first episode, he just took off on us on us. Couldn't believe that. Like, I didn't think he was going to make a break for it on the first turn. But I guess I did enough damage to his back to make him think uh, think twice about hanging around. Alright, let's get in here. Got one chance to get to kill this guy before he gets away. Ah, going to overheat. Just fire everything. There we go. Cool. Enemy down. All right. The red line. Heat damage. How can you just shut down right away? What? Ah, no big deal. All right, recoil. Yep, come in. Let's finish this vehicle up, please. Please finish him up. Wow. Look at the misses on that. Reporting vehicle to. Although he was sprinting, so. Gonna step over here. Unloading at close range. Yeah, it is splash damage. Ah, eh, not bad. What do you need? Gonna walk it over. Drop some missiles on this guy. Nice. No large laser left. Badass. Nice. Excellent. Mission. Well, there we go. That wasn't so bad. 169,000. No significant damage, really. Alright. What do we want now? Eh. A couple of double plus flamers. Heavy machine gun array. Damage 10 times 12. 
That's how many tons is that? Three tons. It's a really short range though. I mean, I could. Three tons. I could take off of. I could take off the. Um, yeah, I could pull off the um, light rifle and put this in. But then I'd be all splash damage. Do I want that? But that's all splash instability damage too, right? I'm going to throw that in there just for now. ECM. We've got an ECM already, I think, right? No, zero. We've got something. We have some kind of ECM. Another engine. Mask. Maybe we take the mask. Those are hard to come by. There's nothing immediately that I want. The flamers would be nice. The engine would be nice. The, the fusion core. ECM would be nice. But I don't need them right now. But the machine gun heavy array I could put to, I could put to use right away pretty much. And the mask I might not be able to put to use right away. But I can definitely use it later on. So let's just take that. Okay, so we got a fire starter piece, and we did get a triple plus flamer. Excellent. SRM4. We got an engine. Nice. Cool. So we made out well that time. All right. Damien took Nishira from Steiner. 15 grand in repairs, which is really nothing. A report, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Centurion five days. Let's manage our tasks perhaps a little better. Um, something like that will put us at four days total, I think. Yeah, I'm finding it's not, um, yeah, four days, four days. It's not really allocating it correctly anymore. I think it did a little bit better with the last version of Rogue Tech, but, uh, you know, that being said, let's have a look now at the store, see if there's anything new that's popped in. So there are more mech parts. See, I mean, you could easily buy more mech parts. ER medium laser, 28 damage, 15 heat. Medium X pulse, which is like two tons, I think, yeah. Medium missile launcher, five. Or LRM and you'll be able to use special ammo on TTS. Falls off to 20% of their max damage. But damage is 8. So does that work with dead fire ammo? It says it can use LRMs and able to use special ammo on TTS. That's interesting. It'd be nice to have some of those instead. But the dead fire ammo will still cut your range. You'd have to get even closer to be able to use it. So that's tough. All right. Well, that's it for today, I think. We're going to leave it now. Um, so next time when we come back, we're going to pull off another one of those assassinate missions. Here's our financial report. We're still doing really well. And, uh, yeah, so we'll pull off. If they're if they're fast enough, um, maybe we'll pull off one or two of those missions. Um and then, like in one episode, if they're fast enough. Uh, this one, I'm kind of disappointed that it was a light mech that we were targeting. I thought for sure it would have been a medium, but, you know, it was a special mech, so, I mean, that, that's kind of good. But we did get the mask out of it, so that's pretty good. So if you liked the video, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you all later.